I went back to Afghanistan two times while I was in college at Texas. Before I leave, I go to Mac Brown's office. And I said, Coach, I'm going overseas for just a couple of, you know, three months or so. I'm going to bring a couple of footballs with me. I'm going to practice long snapping every day. When I come back, I would just love the opportunity to try out for the position. And he was like, well, have you ever long snapped before? And I was like, Coach, I never played football before I got here. And he was like, what? <laughs> like, I didn't know that. And he was like, All right. He's like, yeah, sure. Why not? You know, of course, you, we'll, we'll let you try out for it. And, you know, of course, in his mind, he's like, you're not going to figure this thing out in a few months. But I snapped 100 balls a day when I was over there. I built targets out of plywood. And any free time I had, I was training, working out, or long snapping. And people can say what they want about that position. But you're upside down, and you are about to get rushed by a wall of massive people. And you and in are, my case, you are chucking that ball upside down through your legs and it has to like, and it's a perfect spiral so it can be grabbed and kicked. I mean, it's yeah, like, exactly. it's, I, cause I was watching the videos and, and it's like, this is really hard. Like there's no way, <laughs> if somebody put a gun to my head, there's no chance I could pull it off. You, uh, uh. If you practice for a long time, you never know. You right. never know. I mean, it helps. Right. Sure. But. I think playing baseball helps because I had a decent arm, not a great arm, but a decent arm. I used to pitch, so you learn how to spin the ball a little bit. But you're all doing it upside down. Like, I, I know, mean, it's weird. No, it's, it's super weird. It's a lot of weird stuff to pull off. It's so. definitely, you know what I did? I learned how to do it just like I learned how to shoot a pistol. And it was like one piece at, the, at a time. When we were trained in you know, some of the marksmanship courses, we drew the pistol out of our holster to here for days before they let us put a brown in the chamber and even, you know, squeeze one off downrange. So it was like, we're just practicing that one little motion. So I am laying on my back, just spinning it, you know, getting the grip, spinning it until I'm getting tight spirals and, and just like all wrists, like getting, the, the, getting that yeah. uh, perfected as best as I could. And then I'm lifting weights out of that stance. So I'm doing like Olympic lifts, like cleans and things that make sense for that explosive movement of launching that thing through your legs. Cause it is like a violent motion. But yeah, I just worked on that, worked on that. And I came back and we're in training camp and trying out for the long snapping position. There's like 10 other guys that are kind of in the mix. Yeah. They'd recruited a couple people to do it. And every day I'm like, I'm bumping up the depth chart and eventually I get to two on the depth chart before the first game. So the first game is played, I'm not starting, but I'm the backup. And the guy that was starting had a couple of not very good snaps on field goal and extra point during the game. Yeah. I think one of them might've cost us a kick. We blew out the team, it didn't matter, but. But it was like, mm. Yeah, so at practice that next week, I said, all right, you know, for Wednesday practice here, you guys are gonna have 10 snaps from field goal, extra point distance, which is a shorter snap. He was already gonna be the punt guy, like he'd done well on punt, at least that, that first game. And so whoever has the better snaps out of the 10 gets to start on Saturday. And, and I won that competition. And so I started three straight years after that. And then the next season, I beat him out for the punt position too. So I ended up doing both punts and field goal and extra points. But yeah, I went from never snapping a ball to just a few months later, like starting at that. But it's because I put so many repetitions in. You can learn to do anything that you've never done before if you just put the work in. It's just people, people often don't want to put that time in. And we, we get so hung up on the result. Like, well, if it doesn't work out, what's the point in putting all this time in? And then we just never try. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Nate Boyer. And one of the best ways you can help support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.